Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Pharaoh. And we are continuing our build on NAFTA here in part two, the North African Free Trade Agreement, which is uh, a pretty interesting map. All imports and exports are free. Uh, basically, they cost one Deban each, so they're essentially free. But the problem is the goal for the map is to have 30,000 people with five palatial estates, which seems like an impossibility at this point. And the flood likely to fail, okay. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know. We've got this so far. This is just over 5,000 people. So there's a, there's a long way to go to 30,000. We've got this massive monument to build as well. That's just plodding along. And also I made a slight mistake in part one where there was supposed to be one more it's supposed to be... Actually, no, I shouldn't put it there. I should have it just over there. Uh, there's supposed to be one more gold mine right here, which I just missaw that. There's supposed to be one more right there. Not that we need more money, but, you know, might as well max that out because we're going to be having a lot of unemployment anyway. As long as people are happy, though, they idolize me as a god because I'm not taxing anyone anything because we don't need the money. Uh, as we are importing a bunch of stuff, but, you know, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, today, we're just gonna keep these monuments going. We've placed down these two, uh, which I assume this can just continue on. I'll just wrap this round for now, in case we do need a road connection to get there. Uh, this area is kind of blocked off because this is actually connecting up to the water. So essentially what we have to do now is somehow get massive amounts of people into this city. And I'm not entirely sure how exactly I'm going to do that. But I guess I just start building more housing blocks. I can flesh out this right side. We can farm more stuff here. I'm not sure. We probably have to use all of our farmland, don't we? Most likely, most likely. So we just have to keep spamming up everything, really, right? And then just throw down various industries. Like, for example, I can go ahead and just throw down a reed gatherer here and a couple papyrus makers. They'll somehow make their way over to the reeds when it is not flood season because there's no other way to get there, I think. Uh, just to boost up some papyrus production because we're importing that but it seems like it's not not actually keeping up so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this maybe throw down another reed gatherer with a couple more papyrus makers you have to roadblock here okay just have some papyrus coming in and we just I don't know I don't how do you even reach that many people all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off some space here. We're going to expand the road out. We don't need to be collecting this much wood anymore. Have a road extend out here, and we're going to just try fit more housing. Because grain is looking okay. Game meat is looking okay. I guess we could try use some of those. Yeah, we can have another granary up here. Try fit another few housing blocks. This dynasty mansion. Do we need it? Send a gift. When was the last time I sent a gift? Six months. Okay. Uh, I'll probably want to move that at some point to somewhere less important. I can have... I know, can I have a little bit of housing here? No inundation. How are the gods feeling, by the way? All fine. They're all fine. Oh, it's it's a pretty tricky setup. To the marsh I march for the reeds we need. All right, so over here, I guess we just start setting up as many housing blocks as we can, right? So yeah, we might as well just start drawing some lines. It doesn't have to be super maxed out efficiency, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six. Like we can have a little bit of a 
thing here. That doesn't seem efficient, right? I gotta move this. Trying to bust. Try and bust. Move somewhere else. Just put it. Yeah. Yeah. Clear this. The Dynasty Mansion. I'll get rid of that. This road can then extend out like this. Yeah, I wanted to do this to have this one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can have another housing block here. Okay. I like that. I like that. Okay, I will. Do I need a road connection here? Not really. We'll make some room here. We can actually have some houses here to clear off some of the slums over there. And we just need room for a pavilion. Which will go right there. Great. We'll block this. Get some houses moving in. House there. Houses here. Okay. That's a start for the next uh, housing block. We can fit maybe one more here, and that'll get us maybe closer to eight, nine thousand population. <laughs> I have no idea how. I'll try my best. I'll try my best, but I have no idea how we're gonna actually get to thirty thousand. It's it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Hope you're enjoying this so far, though. Uh, meanwhile, I should... Do I need to fit a... Yeah, I need to fit another granary up here. I'm going to have... How are we going to do this? Firehouse. Architect's post. How did I set it up here? Oh. Yeah, I'll keep this symmetrical. A gap of two and then a road. Okay. Firehouse, architect's post, police station, apothecary, position. Now, to get things like papyrus and stuff. Over. I might want to actually drop this papyrus to holding a quarter and having another storage yard to hold another set of papyrus. Just so delivery is a little bit better, right? It's fine if I put it here, right? Can I fit it here? Yeah, I'll fit it here. This will hold a little bit of papyrus as well. As we manufacture... Are we manufacturing any papyrus? Oh, there's no way to get to the reeds. I need to draw a road through. Alright. Now the reed gatherers should be able to go. There they go. There they go. Malaria. To the marsh I march for the reeds we need. Malaria. Okay. These houses moving in, great, so all of this can start functioning. I'll pop the pavilion down. We'll probably need extra... Can this function here? Yes. Conservatory. A conservatory there. Dance school here. Regular school there. Some entertainment. Alright. Uh, other things. Water supply. It'd be probably best if we try fit it up that side. We'll need a temple to Osiris probably. Chaos Fangs. Thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna need that. Uh, we can squeeze in the rest of the houses. Okay. Gardens. Okay. 
anything else we need to... Is Papyrus gonna come in? Oh wait, I needed a granary, right. I wanted a granary right here. Which will be holding game meat and grain. Half and half. Grain will come in. Game meat we should have... Yeah, there, there does look to be quite a bit of game meat sitting around here. So besides that, I'm just going to need a bazaar right here. Set to buying the foodstuffs. Game meat and grain. And another bazaar. Here. Set to buying all the other stuff. But not luxury goods or fish. So no foods. Pottery, beer, linen. Yeah. Two bazaars, nice stability. Uh, if I can fit two... Can I build here? I can. So I can set this to... Accepting a quarter beer. Set this to accepting a quarter pottery. And drop how much we're filling up and importing here. Okay. That should split our imports a little bit. Put down some shrines. Cyrus. Ra. Pet and bust. Okay, that should keep the gods happy as well. Game meat's coming in, grain is being harvested, papyrus is being collected. These guys might drown. on god assists for speeding up of building pyramids if not this takes forever you've done this map about three times uh i'm actually not concerned about finishing the monuments i've sat around building monuments through this whole thing i played through the entire campaign without the the system for sped up monuments uh getting the 30 30 000 population that's the that's the hard part Yeah, it's a bit of a cheat. Like, if it really gets to something extreme, yeah, I'll turn it on, but I'm yeah, not too concerned. Uh, I can just spam more work camps, right? Because we have massive unemployment. So I might as well just... Oh, that's not clear land. Just do that. Can I do this anywhere else? I can just throw down work camps if there's any room here, right? Yeah. Yeah, no harm doing that. Uh, I can fill up work camps on this road as well. Yep, yeah, doesn't matter. There we go. Can I plaza up this road? Close enough. Alright. New blocks moving in. That's good. Can we provide them everything they need? Some resources have come in here. We are importing these things. It's just a limit on how much. The rest of our blocks seem stable enough. It's fine. Food has fleshed out here. Great. Lots of game meat stored up still. Military, chariots, yeah, all's fine. Okay. Oh, this this pyramid's gonna take a long time. I don't think they did they even touch this. Let's clear it down. Just building more wood camps. Yeah. Alright, these houses evolving. Great, just need to supply pottery. These resources come in. Is there anything else we need? Uh, yeah, there's a few things. Uh, courthouse. 
I don't think there's really efficient spots to place this stuff down because that corner's kind of messed up, so it's fine. Uh, I'll do courthouse, move the water supply. There's a fire. Oh, right, I forgot about that. This road is not covered. The firehouse or architect's post. All right, go deal with that. Uh, I needed a scribal school and mortuary. I don't know if one storage yard is okay for the linen. I think I need another one. If I open up this roadblock here, I can fit another storage yard here, holding a little bit of linen. Okay, perfect inundation coming in. Hopefully the rest of the city doesn't burn during this. I think it's fine. Okay, we spent a lot of money, but still staying over 10,000. Do I need to provide good culture? Nah, it's 25. Culture's not a concern. All the other ratings are... Actually no, zero needed, zero needed. Only monument. No, None of these ratings are needed. I didn't realize it was zero, but... Okay. Camp or camp. Okay. Conservatory. Replace the juggler's school. Alright, these houses are starting to evolve. Is that all the services? Dentist. There's no dentist. Dentist down there. They're waiting on papyrus and linen here. Okay, and I think that's everything. So I squeeze a house there, and a house here. Get rid of that, maybe. Squeeze the rest of this openings with houses. Okay. It'll go through a first feeding, so we won't go too much more than that. There we go. Fill the gaps with gardens. I always like that. Okay. Another block down. Good to go. Ah, this pyramid's finally doing some kind of progress. And the other pyramid's starting some work as well. Great. Don't see a point in providing mortuary access to non-scribal housing, given there's no culture requirement. Do they not need mortuary access to evolve? I can't remember. They don't? Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. We don't need mortuary access. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, we, we don't, right? Let's fit another house in each of these. Two. Three. Did I delete four? Alright, one here. Four. Some fire worries here. I'm just gonna scatter. Oh, we're gonna be invaded in 18 months, all right? They need scribal school, all right. That's working. Come on, 
kill the gazelle and then I can place the house. Okay. All right, so this is going okay. We're only at 6,000 people, so a little concerning. But this... It is all evolving. Requesting some desirability. If I replace these one-by-one one houses with shrines... Is that patron god again? It is Osiris. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. Okay. 2084. Spacious residences. Fancy residences. Oh, the unoccupied houses are pulling down the desirability. Okay. Why is the linen being... Oh, right, the dock. I forgot. So we might be actually losing some trade when this floods. That's fine. Okay, we're producing a little bit of papyrus. I feel like we need more, though. Okay, just try grab as much papyrus as you can. Am I gonna need to tax people? I might just tax the palatial estates, right? How do I even do the palatial estates? They take up so much space. I need five of them. I guess easy enough to fit it here, right? There's no room for fairy landings here. Ooh, there is room for fairy landings here. Okay, that might be something. If I... How do I do this? I change the roadblock. Actually, no, I just need this road. Yeah, I'm gonna cut through the trees. To do that. And that should provide employment to this ferry landing. Oh, the immigrants are using this as a shortcut as well. Okay, good. Oh, the grain harvest this year, not so great, but we've got lots of food. Bad luck. Something in the water. Oh, the reed gatherers are killed by <laughs> that, right. Okay, uh, all of this is slowly evolving. The bazaars, I think, keep up okay. I made some room for linen here, but if we're not doing mortuaries for anything but... I guess I just leave it, right? There's no point destroying it either. Okay. How much unemployment do we have? 20% unemployment. down a couple houses here some houses there get some people moving into this side we'll just spam more work camps hope they don't change too much with a new age um yeah for the most part it should be the same and i think a lot of the new functions like global employment and stuff will be optional 
I don't like festival squares. Nah, what am I gonna do with blessings on this? Like, which blessing is gonna benefit me? <laughs> None of them really do anything, do they? This is all gonna take a while to move in, but okay. Hi, is Kitty. Thank you so much. You got Amazon Prime again? Ooh. Osiris and Bast. I mean, the Bast one is kind of okay, right? I'm gonna be here in a year. Osiris guarantees steady supply of food. Bast guarantees your housing does not degenerate, but... You know, relying on the blessings is kind of, you know, annoying. I guess I can just pop this down. Should be fine here, right? Here? I can place gardens. I best not. <laughs> I best not. Um, I don't want to glitch out the game. You can place gardens. No, no, undo that. Oh no. I hope it hasn't glitched anything out. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. bugs the monument yeah maybe to be safe i just don't build gardens <laughs> until the monument is done i'll come back to building the gardens okay i'll come back to that <laughs> see it's bugs like that which you kind of want fixed in the remake The smaller pyramid will go a lot faster. Stonemasons, that's right. Construction guilds. Why can I spam up a bunch of these? They don't have to be close or anything. It's gonna take a long time before these immigrants move in. I see a dancer. This city's reputation is worse than a juggler's. I hope we aren't attacked. Uh, which pavilion is bugging out? Dancer bug. The dancer glitch. Of course it would happen. I checked with the developers of the remake. They said, this is fixed. <laughs> it's probably this one bugging out. But it's fine because we've got Destination Walker to cover that. It's not a block, it's just a road. Oh, this moved in. Okay. Our house. Architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. Position. And that allows me to put... A 
bunch of guilds. And more work camps. Okay, that should speed up the construction of everything. All right, uh, all right, we needed, so I actually can actually not accept that here and just allow wood to stock up here. Because we've got some wood and wood will be needed for the carpenters guilds, so that should be eventually used up. All right, probably better near the wood source. Eh, they'll figure it out. <laughs> Wait, why are there no employees in this? Poor access to workers. Is this not touching the house enough? Let's try that. Invasion in six months. Okay. Reed gatherers off gathering more reeds. Yeah, not sure if that crocodile's doing anything. Um, the docks are still kind of overcrowded, but I guess they'll figure themselves out eventually. Why are we still importing... Oh, linen is used by... These houses do take linen, right? Yeah. Is this for papyrus? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, the army, the army of monument builders. I really should stop focusing on monuments so much. And we're actually kind of losing money now. I think because of wages we're paying so much and we're slowly hiring more people so what I'm gonna do is throw down some tax collectors these has a struggle those has a struggle so I'm just gonna move this dentist over and I'm gonna move this house to replace to there and put a tax collector right here Okay. Now these houses aren't really evolving, so that's fine. Just get rid of those. Just get some tax going. Ah, the stones are finally being delivered to the monuments. Great. These houses, have they... Uh, they're still moving in. It's gonna take a while. These houses can expand if I do this. these houses are here this road has employment so I can just get rid of these houses right yeah that's correct okay <sighs> what's the population goal 30,000 <laughs> it's, it's a bit insane a bit crazy. Alright, some taxes should be coming in now. Yeah, I'm not taxing this block. I think it's to put down the tax collector to have to remove a house. Uh, I guess I don't have to. I'll just get rid of those shrines. I can tax this block as well. 
Okay, that should keep our money flowing in. Oh, a second. What's the population difference? Elegant residences. Fancy residences hold 92 people. Elegant residences hold... 88? Is it worth figuring this out? Probably not. No big deal, really. If I break these two houses... These should expand to do that. Okay. I should fix the easy one by ones which I see. Like that. Okay. Yeah, money's secure. It's going back up. Uh, in one month, this foreign army will invade. Flood likely to fail. Right, let's save this. I don't know where they're going to invade from. I'm going to preemptively put two chariots over there. If they invade from the right side, it's no big deal. If they invade from the water, it shouldn't be a big deal. Population should be hitting about 8,000 through all this. And we've kind of almost filled up one side of the river. And the other side of the river is not as spacious. It's kind of spacious. All right. Hold a lavish festival to Osiris. Osiris is actually displeased. But all right, foreign army invades. It's from this side. Why are my hunters walking off the map? Well, there's nothing really to destroy on this side, except for some things here, which I don't even need. I'll save you the time of destroying that. Oh, it will cut off our land connection for land traders for a little while. I don't have any transport, so I can't get over there. It's just going to be annoying for a little while. We should spam up Osiris shrines. They're just gonna sit there, are they? Alright. <laughs> They'll leave eventually. They'll leave eventually. The lavish festival, okay. Cyrus is congenial. I spent a lot of money on those shrines. Antelope end up here? Did they just 
Oh, they just crossed over because we built the road. Right. Good inundation coming in next year. Some of these houses devolved because there's no supply of beer. Oh, right, because we're not producing beer. And our trade gets stuck. Antelopes are no antelope antelope. It's the trader's life for me. Maybe I should be planting some barley. There's not a lot of farmland left. I mean, there's land farms, but I should probably set up a beer industry. Where can I fit a beer industry? Huh. Guess these work camps, right? I can import barley, right? Yeah, there's just no room. I get rid of these work camps. Put a storage yard here. Except barley. Some beer is, yeah, beer is struggling to maintain. We need to boost that production a little bit. Surprisingly, this is still working. Our hunters are fighting. Look at that, that hunter. Antelopes are no match for us. <laughs> he called him an antelope. Like, just building transports on this map is hard, because there's not a lot of flat coast. But I'm gonna have to deal with this problem later. Okay, also, I should be able to send a gift again. What is my salary? Oh, I destroyed my mansion, right. I forgot I destroyed my mansion. Dynasty Mansion. Let's have to get rid of these work camps. Do the hunters not die to these archers? Thank you. Oh no, the hunters are dying. This is just gonna be annoying. Yeah, this is now no longer functioning, so the land trade routes can't get through. I'm gonna need some chariots on the right side, aren't I? Alright, these two. Ugh. I think the hunters actually took out an archer or two. Look at that. <laughs> Can I support another housing block here with the resources we've got? I should probably have a little bit of a pottery production, just in case. Are they leaving? Where are my hunters going? I don't, I don't even know. Right. 
If I'm gonna have another housing block here, I think it's gonna have to be a bit of a weird shape. the pavilion here. I can. Okay, that can work there. They're still there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a hard block. Hey, I think they've left. Okay, great. Immigration's resumed. House. Probably just temporarily activate this as well. Gonna need firehouse. Firehouse. Architect's post. Architect's post. Police station, police station, apothecary, apothecary, physician, physician. Okay. That will activate both of these crossings when the immigrants finally go there. We're slowly setting up this block. There's already a dancer on it, because of course there is. The dancer glitch is the most annoying thing. Some people say it's part of the challenge. I don't think glitches should be part of the challenge. Oh, there are ways you can build blocks that that won't have the dancer glitch. There shouldn't even be a dancer glitch. Don't think it's anything serious. Dancer coverage still seems okay. I'm not sure if this block is too big. I don't think it is. Right. Those houses moved in. Great. These houses should be moving in. These guys, yeah. Great. We should be getting some barley imported here, hopefully. <laughs> glitches? You mean features? No, I mean glitches. Uh, well, the pyramids are progressing, so that's nice. Osiris is benevolent. Hold another lavish festival. No, so since we're at it, um, should I take advantage? I probably do need to take advantage of the land farm area, right? I'll fill this up first. Like, are we really overproducing grain already? All 
this guy's got to turn around. <laughs> ah, that moved in. All right, let's get the usual setup. Our house. See that dancer spawned right there. Thanks. Police station. Dentist. Temple to Osiris. Pavilion. Physician. This here? No. Did it? No. Yeah. Okay. Scribal school. And we're going to need two bazaars. Again, game and game meat, I think, is the best bet. And then the rest. Okay, that's gonna set up that block of houses. Oh wait, I need a courthouse. Festival, great. I guess I can throw a tax collector down if it fits. Yeah, that fits there. looks good good inundation great you know I think I will replace two farms with some barley farms just to have a little bit of barley coming in I mean this import did come in but just to have a little bit of a backup Bellwood streams thank you so much for the gift sub so kind of you. Gave out 10. Oh, gave out 10. <laughs> Bellwood Streams, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. That is very, very kind and generous. That is very much appreciated. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I, I definitely need to supplement my supply of beer here. These breweries are working. So that should help. Perhaps it would make more sense if I set up the papyrus industry here and let them walk far from here. Right, that makes more sense. Papyrus maker. Right, then I can clear this off. And instead, I have a bit of a... Pottery industry. Let that go. Alright, kill that crocodile. Good, that tower's doing its job. Alright, this is slowly progressing. It's slowly getting there. Send a chest of sapphires to make the kingdom like me a bit more. Okay, so this is a longer way for them to walk with the papyrus, but actually when it's not flooded, this is actually fine. There might be a good blessing from Osiris here. These houses did devolve because we're out of beer. Yeah, okay. 
Understandable. Okay. Put down two more breweries. It's a long way to walk to the nearest store of beer. Fill this to half. Set this... No, not that one. Set this one to getting a quarter. This one to getting a quarter. Set this to fill to half. That way more can fill up down here from the beer and pottery workshops down this side. And then these can get from there as that stocks up. We have plenty of unemployment, so that's not a concern. There's 300 units of food here. Why is it not being delivered? Okay, papyrus industry should pick up from here, great. Uh, our population's only 8,000. If I evolve this and stabilize this final block, we'll be like maybe 10, 11, 12,000 if we're lucky. And that's like the whole this side, like if we didn't have to build this pyramid, I could see reaching 30,000. I don't know how to go to 30,000, not to mention the five palatial estates. This is just going to take forever. This, this is being put down, so that's great. for a festival to bust because we have the temple complex so bust should be pretty happy uh, what I need to fill up yeah, is to have more grain here right building. Wait, what collapsed? I actually don't see anything collapsed. Oh, the shrine right of the ferry landing, right there. Okay, got it. Okay. No problem. This road just connect up to there. This road just up to there. Go down some random irrigation. Roadblock there. Okay. Just some extra farms. Why not? I could technically fit like another farm here. One farm, will it make that much of a difference? Yeah, we are struggling to keep up with beer production. throw some breweries here. Um, 
Bali is sent to breweries before warehouse. Maybe, I think. I'm not sure. Lavish Festival. Claypit suffered a terrible flood. No biggie. Need to squeeze in a couple of houses for this area. Okay, harvest is coming in. Bits of papyrus are being sent up from here. Can't really support that, that's fine. Now, gonna watch the barley. A thief stole some family savings from your mansion. There's a crime? Oh, there is some crime. A plague stalks your city. Oh, that one house, right. There's the plague dude. If I get rid of the road... ...and block him... ...I can get rid of the plague. The plague spreader. Weird mechanic, but that's how it works. Okay. Stop the plague! Um, there's no police station down here. Right, I never put police stations down this way. It's not here. There we go. There was some crap. Okay. Now, these breweries are functioning. Yeah, I, I need way more barley. That ferry landing is now functioning, so now the crossing is a bit shorter. They don't have to go all the way down here. Okay, I'll replace some some farms with barley, I think, to keep that going. Because the import can only keep up so much. Beer. There is still some leftover barley. Okay, that's good. So they do prioritize going to breweries first. So if I can just place a bunch of breweries, it'll actually work out okay. Stonemason guilds. Okay. That should keep some beer supply coming in from this side. Food looks good there. Food looks okay there. There's a lot of game meat just sitting around. But I think it is being delivered. Okay. This isn't a particularly stressful map, but... Alright, what I want to do is I want to get rid of two of my chariot forts. Because the invasions aren't that big. And have them over on this side instead. Just to do like that. That should handle invasions now. 
Let me go ahead and replace some farms. Two more farms here with barley. Four barley farms should significantly boost our beer production. And they're the ones guaranteed to have good floods. This is also functioning. These farms should take off as well. There goes the new chariots. Yeah, these farms will take off. So that's going to be a bunch more grain. So we have more grain to support all sorts of housing. So food isn't an issue. It's just everything else. Uh, beer, pottery, linen. I'm not sure if we're getting enough linen to support everything. Guess it's fine. So we should be able to just flesh this all out, right? Let's have this first. I'm gonna need to throw some shrines around, I think. Scatter some shrines for Osiris and Bust. And then fill the rest with houses. Okay. Next housing block set up. Fire in the city. Right. Bas is pleased that your city honors her. She has thrown a festival so that all the gods notice your piety. Great. Oh, Set is a bit displeased. Set. Chill out. Bunch of shrines for you. All right. Uh, don't think anything's gonna be placed right here, right? If Cyrus has noticed your city's faithful dedication. The next inundation will be better than previously expected. That looks good. All right. Another housing block coming in. That should at least send us over the ten thousand mark. Oh, there's no road connection to this farm. Okay. People are still extremely pleased with me, despite the 6% taxes, which estimates 10,000 a year. That's pretty good. I think we're slightly overproducing limestone, so let's replace one limestone quarry with a plain stone quarry. Okay, we are producing some pottery. Barley is here. The problem is I think it's sending... It's slowly sending barley up to these breweries, which... I guess as long as we're using up all the barley, it doesn't matter. Because looking at it, our beer supply has stabilized. Malaria? Really? The health stuff doesn't reach. Just the apothecary. Alright. Papyrus guys dying to the croc, but they're not making a long journey anymore. That's fine. These chariots coming back online. Good. So we should be able to defend this a little bit, at least. Okay, there's a good flood. Here comes the harvest. There we go. As long as I see all the grain carts moving... Yeah, it's good. 
we still have grain stored up from last year. So should be good on the grain front. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to buying just grain and I want to see just how stable everything evolves. Linen. Watch if linen is struggling. This bazaar is not taking food. Why not? Is it a road glitch? There's a road connection to the granary. Employment's fine. Employment's fine. I think this is a glitch. Let's try shift both bazaars over. There's an odd bug with bazaars where they sometimes vanish before reaching the granary. Uh, so many bugs. Um, bizarre access. So that's... The bazaar needs some items and I'm going to... From the other bazaar. This one's just not spawning. This one's taking the other stuff. If I set this to buying grain, will you go buy grain as well? These goods will make welcome additions to the bazaar. Oh, yeah, something happened. The bazaar happened there. needs some items, and I'm going to get them. It despawned here. So there's something to do with this road. The bazaar needs some items. The bazaar needs some items, and I'm going to get them. Is that gonna work? I just got rid of a garden tile. I think that worked. Okay. Sure. I think the garden tiles were glitching out the roadblock and the shape of the road. Now everything's evolving. Okay, good. Entertainment. Our dancers doing their job. Looks okay. We'll just provide grain there for now. More grain stocking up here. Great. Uh, barley? Well, it got all the breweries working, so that should supplement that. Uh, what I think we need to do is have two farms for flax. Gold mine collapsed, okay. And then just have some weavers going. Just to supplement the linen as well. Okay, let's share up to common residences, which hold 60, 70, 80 people. Providing a second type of food Gets us up to 88 people. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I might want to just stick to one type of food. It could be a, like, in Caesar 3, you get more population sticking to casas or something, you know? Because the resource production takes up 
too much space. Replace all gardens with statues. See if the spawning bug stops. Maybe that's it, but I don't know. I like the gardens. I like the gardens in this game. This is supposed to be holding... Yeah, it's holding papyrus. Can I put a warehouse here? A storage yard. Have this... Accepting grain. This works, right? It has access to workers, and fire stuff should cover it. That house is gonna burn. Expand into it if you can. Let's have a backup firehouse. Okay, that should get some grain stored up this side. I don't know if that bazaar is still glitching out. Maybe, maybe not. If I build another roadblock here, it might work. <laughs> that filled up, okay. <sighs> Replace all medium gardens with that fat crocodile statues. <laughs> Ah, uh, the fat crocodile statue. Not my favorite one. But this should... There we go. Stabilize the food supply up this side. Okay, get all this going. Yes. Supply of pottery and all sorts of things. Okay, pottery's there. Beer's there. Uh, breweries are still... Some are still producing. Okay. Pottery is looking a little light. There's a house here. If I break this roadblock but have an extra firehouse architect's post, I can go ahead and put down two more clay pits. Flooded clay pit, okay, some more. Potters. Just boost my pottery production. Okay, and we're hitting 10,000 people. Well, that. Some of our grain. Maybe we overproduce grain. There's no room for it. Oh no, that traitor! Traitor! Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Look at that traitor. He lost all of his... ...camels? <laughs> it's the traitor. The traitor made it! Me. Yes! Can't believe that traitor. Look at him. He's, he's just doing things by himself. I'll be a hero when I bring these goods <laughs> back to my homeland. Uh. He's still overproducing limestone. No, actually, I mean, as long as there's some empty spaces in the warehouses, we're not overproducing limestone. Okay, all the breweries are functioning again. Beer, pottery. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Uh, papyrus, yeah. We're producing some stuff. Linen, producing a little bit there. Okay, it was a good flood. We've been using up these chariots as well, with a little bit of wood cutting still to go. Okay, all of this, common residences, yeah, they need a second type of food. So it seems like, perhaps, if I... Oh, it's a population of 10,000 places your city in Egypt's top tier. If I go down, 
So yeah, Fancy Residence holds 92 occupants, which I suppose is a big jump from Common Residence, which is 80? 6, 7, 8, 80, 92. But if I stop importing like fish and meat here and just rely on grain, will it really, will it really impact things badly? So I got to figure out my five palatial estates. I think it might be better to squeeze the five palatial estates down here. And then try use the rest of this for actual housing. We have 36,000 in the bank. Wow. Okay. So if I wanted five palatial estates there. Four by fours, but they need a little bit of everything, right? Two, three, four. Six. We need five of them. All right, this farmland. I haven't used this farmland. I forgot there was farmland. build on clear land okay that works that's the spawn point how is 30k people able to fit on this map i have no idea i actually don't know one two three four now i think we got to be a bit more conservative do this one two three four your desirability is a problem as well. And I need five. If I fit three here. One, two, three, four. Shrine splitting them. Is there enough room for all the services? It might do. That's a pretty short road, so if I set a extension out that way, perhaps it's more space saving to extend out that way. Let's try this. The carry. The temple to Osiris. Position. So we're gonna have splits. One, two, three, four. Osiris. This is for desirability as well. Two, three, four, last. Bet. Rough. I'm not sure if we can fit everything here. We're going to need a bit more for the two other... If I do this... See, desirability is an issue. I think I'll put one, two, like that. Which may or may not work.
virus. It's gonna expand up to there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Perhaps this will be our five palatial estates, maybe. this for stability of the palatial estates i need to get dedicated getting i gotta keep this separate so temporarily i need to do this station apothecary physician okay then I'm going to need just a whole bunch of storage yards. So this one is getting a little bit of pottery. This one is getting a little bit of beer. This one is... Getting a little bit of papyrus. This one is getting a little bit of linen. This one is getting a little bit of luxury goods. Okay. Uh, food. I suppose this is where it's easier to switch the importing of food to something else, right? Fit a storage out here and still have that. It should. It should. Okay. So this will be getting the game meat, the fish, no, the meat and the fish, and get some grain. How many types of food does it need? Three or four? Four, right? That'll be a little bit of a problem to deal with. So do I want this area connected? Not entirely sure. Other services can be scattered around here. Dentist, courthouse. The bazaar can access food from the warehouse. Not getting goods. Three types of food? Okay, good. I think I need another storage yard for food. You just get grain and you will not be... If we're just filling it up, it should actually be fine. And then if we switch all of our food over on this side to just grain. Don't buy fish. You stop accepting fish and meat. You yeah, just buy fish. Or if anything, we can support a little bit more game meat eating. Uh, you don't buy meat. You don't buy meat. I'm just going to let this food go down to one type. 
you are buying grain and game meat. Great. I think we can support one more game meat eating place. So switch this meat to game meat. Okay, so only one block should devolve a little bit. So I see these hunting lodges filled with food. And I'm not sure why it's not all in the granary. Our papyrus is really low. Okay. Should probably also set this to importing... Oh, that's only exportable. Wait, how do we get luxury goods? Um, right, I haven't opened those trade routes. Let's open this trade route. Let's import this. Maintain 800. Okay. Is there any harm connecting this up? Um, do bazaars have a distance limit in Pharaoh? I can't remember. Because this stuff should all be too far for these bazaars to get to, but I can't remember if they introduced that mechanic in Pharaoh. It's been so long. Do bazaars have a distance limit? It's by the crow flies? Okay, if it's by the crow flies, it should still be fine. If I connect this up to the rest of the city, it should be okay. Then again, the papyrus and the linen might be sent in weird directions. Uh, I'll try to keep it separate. Just getting the food over here is gonna... I suppose the meat and the fish will just fill in there, right? It doesn't have to. Yeah, that should be fine, actually. Uh, so what's missing? This is the papyrus. Oh, we actually have lots of reeds just sitting around. Get papyrus going. When that crocodile is not eating people, we get a lot of papyrus in. <laughs> uh, it seems like we did deplete the game meat really quickly. So I don't think we can support... ...game meat here. Then again, it was a first feeding. It was a first feeding. Maybe it'll, it'll balance out. Maybe it'll balance out. I'll leave it for now. There's always, you know, if anything, if we run out of game meat, they just go down to one type of food anyway. Mm. Or Michelle's, thank you so much. All right. We see some beer coming through the jungle. Why is there beer coming down this way? Don't we already have enough? I said it to get a quarter, right? Yeah. Oh, they all went and got more than a quarter. Well, that's three types of food. That's that. Uh, waiting for papyrus. What other things do we need? Uh, mortuary. Uh, did I put down the dentist? Yes. So I won't put down the mortuary yet or the... Alright, we don't have... The entertainment schools. need other temples, that's for sure. Uh, I 
How many temples? Is it three? Okay, so everything we need is here. Um, except for the entertainment schools, which is a little annoying that I might have to... Do a thing. Disease strikes. I can fit that there. This... Can I make this slightly awkward? I need to put the houses like this. Get rid of that house. Shorten this road by that much. A plague. Where? Where is the plague? Oh, it's this. Where's the plague bearer? <coughs> oh, there. my stomach. Oh, my head. Okay. Despawned. Billion back. Those houses moving in. Uh, I will need a conservatory. We can shorten this road. Those houses have moved in. So that's fine. I can get rid of that house. I should try and put some precautions about this. just in case. All right, so this entertainment's all here, so we just need the Senate House and a bunch of, like, the services. All right, let's go Bazaar, which can fit right here. We're getting everything except for Game Meat here. All right. I'm not sure if one bazaar can keep up with all of this. That's a lot of resources to carry, but once it's first fed, it should be okay. Right? Okay, we'll see how that goes. How's the pyramids going? It's a long way to go. At least this thing's done. This uh, water connection, I, I don't even really know what it is. Inundation will be mediocre. Let's do a lavish festival. Okay. Seems like the papyrus is going full speed. Okay. Bizarre. Can you not buy from the warehouse? Maybe it's another road issue? It should be fine from the warehouse. We're importing all three types of food. Lyra Linda, thank you so much. You gotta go to work. Have fun at work. I'm not sure why these bazaars are not working. <laughs> these market ladies are not <laughs> going to work. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all these little things which are so annoying, which I really hope is fixed in the remake, right? It's just... Why? Like, what's the issue? It's probably the roadblock again.
Wow. Yeah, something's going on. See that that walk, that cart pusher spawning and despawning? <laughs> uh, it's probably a roadblock issue again. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's this shrine? These shrines? Maybe it's too many roadblocks? Maybe it's all the roadblocks? No? It's none of the roadblocks. Maybe you just don't get grain. Yeah, just just fill up on meat and fish. Hey, this one's dedicated to getting grain. All right, nice. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. I have no idea. He can't get to wherever he needs to go. Yeah, but I don't know why. It's not flood season. There should be everything connected. There's a road to escape the north, there's a road to escape to the south. They'd be trying to get to the grain warehouses, which are here and functioning. Beer supply looks good. Linen supply looks okay, I guess. Actually, are we accepting linen up to this top side? There's no storage yard for linen up top. seems to be functioning. All right, these houses slowly evolving needs more desirability, which means large statue time. Oh, we actually can't fit large statues. Can't fit that there. That should do I want. There might be some desirability issues here. Medium statues. In two years, Libyan army will be at the gate. Clay pit flooded. All right. Wait, save here. Uh, desirability might be a little bit of an issue. scribal school and possibly mortuary we're gonna need desirability here so let's go large statue For a Senate House. It's cramped, <laughs> but it's five of them. I I don't know if it's actually gonna work. I might have to shift some things for desirability reasons. But okay, we'll just keep trying to squeeze things. Probably shouldn't block that. Just birds staring in from the outside. <laughs> okay. Garden 
Yes. Gardens, gardens, gardens. Okay. That's gonna be there, yes. Fill the gaps with gardens and your city looks great. All right. Uh, what's the hold up here? Um, the papyrus guy's out getting more goods. What's that message? Good inundation. All right. Uh, the mortuary is functioning. The papyrus guy is struggling. Cyrus Blessing, great. This bazaar's functioning, that bazaar's functioning. Okay, so there's plenty of resources. Um, it's just the Senate House that's not here, I think. Which might affect some desirability. I'll have to see what we can do. Okay. <laughs> the crocodile statue. I don't like the fat crocodile statue. <laughs> uh... I don't like the fact. I like the bird. I like the bird statue. Hmm. Can you build gardens around the houses? Uh, vaguely remember, housing evolves into gardens. Um, that's just kind of an illusion. Um, because often, uh, when the house evolves onto the garden, the garden disappears, and then you lose the desirability from the garden. I think we're struggling to keep up on the game meat, so I'm gonna turn off game meat from here. It's not working. Struggling to keep up with everything. Let's switch beer off to here. That, that should stabilize that. Okay. Waiting for the papyrus guy to come back. He's out getting goods. For how long? He's on his way back. Alright. Oh wait, we'll need a library, I forgot! It's not just the Senate House, it's also a library. Yeah, desirability is going to be a bit of a problem. Can't pause that. Scribal school is working. Needs a supply of linen, which there is here. We just need the bazaar to go buy it. So I will need a library and the Senate House. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be butting heads about the fat crocodile for the rest of the time. <laughs> okay, maybe an army in one year. Make another save. The fat crocodile. It's a medium statue that looks like this. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I, I never use it. <laughs> oh, the fat crocodile. Uh, I guess I should be... Oh, it's flood time. Okay. I should fill that out. Bunch of barley's filled up there. Okay. Bunch of grains going around. Yeah, I just need to overwhelm with grain, I think. And stick to one type of food. Let the imported food just be for the palaces. What have we got so far? Fancy residences. Yeah, it's a desirability issue now. There's some nice evolution, though. Let's see how far we can get it. Croc is ugly. <laughs> It's weirdly, it's weirdly wide. Fire in the city. Why? Why, why now? This should not be happening. Okay. The fire spread. All right. Do I need this temple? No. That's a juggler's booth. Douglas school rather okay can you stop this from spreading to my warehouse that would be good can you just put out that one that that fire right there be nice if you stop this my grain burning no of course you couldn't stop it okay fine all right fine this is all just burning The AI for fire marshals is so bad. What is this for? Papyrus. <laughs> oh, perfect inundation. Place this with accepting grain. Now all of this is gonna burn because despite all the fire marshals running this side to put out the fire which they failed to put out, they abandoned their posts to let the rest of the city burn. Okay. Uh, so there's a few hunting lodges, right? I don't even know where all the hunters are going. Like, what? Why are there hunters Antelopes up here? Antelopes are no match for us. Okay, what have we got? So it's all desirability issues, right? Ah, uh, I don't know if it's possible to solve this. It's just not enough desirability. If I shift this storage yard to here, I can have this set to getting the meat and fish. I can empty that. Wait, that can't be there. Yeah, there's just not enough room for statues. Perhaps if I just get rid of this center one. I can figure out another way around. If I have this, for example, there, does that help? Helps a little bit.
with a bunch of cats. Okay, I can get rid of this and replace that with a large statue as well. Which helps a little bit, okay. Second type of luxury good. Okay. <laughs> A second type of luxury good. That counts. Oh, still desirability problems. Wow. Okay. Hmm. We got them to four by fours, but there's only three of them. Four if I fit that. Oh, how do I get this? Hmm. Stop the mortuary and the physician. That's a good point. We can do that. Didn't help enough, but okay. Uh, what else can I do? Just things are too cramped. I think I gotta extend this road for the services, right? I gotta extend this a little bit. Do that. Okay, there's gonna be an invasion in one month. So we'll be dealing with that. But I need to have... Firehouse. Post. Police station. Remove those three. Temple to Osiris. I'm not sure if that's too far. Actually, if I get the Senate house over this side, it might work. Alright, where's the invasion? This side. Okay, from where? There. All right, all of you just charge right into them. <laughs> this is a strategy game. Get in there. Wiggle, wiggle. Averted. Are they dead? No, there's quite a lot of them. Did they retreat? I can't tell. Okay, I think we got them. We lost quite a lot. If that invasion came from the east side of the river, it would have been pretty bad. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm moving the Senate House, because that just can't be there. Okay. Did I not put down... Next post? Quickly deal with this. Okay. 
Just in case, I'll keep second firehouse and architect's post here. Okay. Uh, so that clears off some space, which does allow me to put... Another one of those, which I'm not sure... Okay, it gets us one palatial estate, two palatial estates. Now what can I do here? Desirability on these two needs to be boosted. That bazaar is holding up. For inundation, alright. Let's just throw a festival to Osiris. If I get rid of the bazaar, replace it with a medium statue of a bird. Is that going to be enough to take it over? Not quite. What else can I do? I can move the apothecary there. I can garden that. Shift the firehouse and architect's post here. Clear that, clear that, and maybe make room for... Can I fit a large statue here? No. Fit a medium statue here. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> and after all of this, this is only... This is only four, it's not five. I need five. Uh, so I can move the courthouse... ...to here. To remove that. And instead have a large statue. Okay, so that's three. Three palatial estates. Um, this warehouse, the storage yard, for grain, can be shifted. I'm gonna get rid of that statue. Uh, this storage yard can go right here. For getting maximum grain. We're emptying that, replace that with a statue, and we should get four palatial estates. Mispronounce the word crocodile? <laughs> oh no, it's Wetzlar. Your favorite statue. How much different is this from Caesar? This is an improved version of Caesar, though it does still have a bunch of bugs and stuff like that. Um, but it's got monuments. The main thing is there are monuments. These things. And the campaign is about 38? No, total with uh, Cleopatra, it's like 50 missions long, right? Maybe 48 missions long? Wait, no, it's 38 missions in the normal campaign, then 15 Cleopatra missions. So it's it's over double the length. All right, that grain's cleared out. Let's get rid of this. Then we can have a large statue here. And that should get us a fourth palatial estate. Okay. Now, how do I squeeze one more house into this? <laughs> um, it's got to be on the bottom side, right? This is as compact as I can get it. If I get rid of this... Do these houses devolve? Or is this enough? Do these maintain? 
Because if that's the case... I think we solved it. I think we solved it. Because we can fit extra statues around the back here. No problem. Flooded clay pit. Osiris blessing. Continue the birds watching. It's not bird watching. It's birds watching. Okay. <laughs> and that will be our fifth palatial estate. Okay. Flooded clay pit over here. Okay. Clay materials, clay pit. Can I fit a dock over here? Just realized. I can. If I do this. That's just, yeah, one long road. And it adds another dock that the ships can use. Okay, this house is gonna go straight up to. What does it say? The dwellers of this palace are at the pinnacle of Egyptian society. They want for nothing. Just keeping their needs satisfied is a remarkable achievement. And all down in this cramped up corner. And this is separated from the rest of the city, so it is... It's not, um... It should be stable, is what I'm saying. I'm gonna fill these edges of the map up with the gardens. That, great. Evolving. No basic education. Now coming soon. Alright, we're gonna watch this become our fifth palatial estate. Fire? Why? How? Where? What? The school burned down. Temple to bust. Why? Why did the school burn down? Just the school. Probably didn't walk that way for a while. I suppose it was in the corner. Are these firehouses struggling to reach that corner? You're right there. Put out the fire. What distant relation is coming to put out this school fire? <laughs> All the firemen are walking by the burning school and they're like, Nah, let the children burn. It's fine. We'll just watch it burn. We're just gonna have to wait. Uh, Ra and Ptah and Set are all displeased. We're gonna have to spam up some shrines for them. Ra, Ptah, and Set. Okay. That should keep them happy. Or content. All right, the school has been reduced to rubble, and that was a temple to bust. Yes. Okay, this house is evolving. Waiting for jewelry. Oh, that palatial estate actually devolved because it lost the the temple. Okay, it's back up. It's back up. Oh, these hold quite a few people. I didn't realize the population was so high in these. It's It is 200 people. So this is a thousand people. All right, evolving, evolving. 
I don't think I could get this any more cramped with my current level of skill anyway. Like I might be able to pull some of the services down or I could share the... No, sharing would be a bad idea. I, I want this to stay as an isolated system. Is the bazaar keeping up? I think it is. Still waiting for scribal school access. Because this papyrus dude just takes a while to bring the papyrus back. Why did that devolve? It lost access to a god. Oh, because the Bass Temple devolved for a while, uh, was lost for a while, right? Is it possible to fit anything else up here? Yeah, this is not 100% stable, being this cramped. This city is... Cr this city couldn't be better. Okay. I think it could be, but... Yeah, this bust... Where is the bust wall? This city is cool. What's a priestess to do? There is so little diversion here. Two, three, 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 two. One god is not coming down this way. Is it Osiris? It might be Osiris? Is Osiris only coming down and walking left? Is that, is that what's going on? Because I don't... Osiris might be a bit too far to make a full loop. Yeah, see, Osiris turns around here. Osiris turned around there. Osiris can't reach. But the Senate House can? Where's the Senate look like? There he is. Does the Senate House reach all the way down? Like, makes the full loop? He despawns! They're not supposed to despawn, they're supposed to walk back to where they came from. Okay, so Osiris is not reaching down here. Where can I fit an Osiris temple down here? Like, if I get rid of this and make it an Osiris temple, I don't know if it's going to devolve the house, but I guess I might as well just do it. And see what happens. It's staying? Okay, the temple is enough to compensate. This needs more desirability? Okay. Birds have to go. We're gonna need some large statues here. Clear that. Education, large statues. What design do I want? I can just keep to this, I guess. I have one of these. Bunch of gardens, maybe it'll work. Is that enough? Palatial estate! That's five palatial estates! Oh, somehow it actually worked. <laughs> it 
Somehow it actually worked. I can't believe it. Uh, it's not 100% stable. You know, the Senate House might walk the wrong way a few too many times. Or some resources might cut a bit short once in a while. Or the walkers just go the wrong way. The mortuary access, for example. But that's five palatial estates. And we're at about 11 and a half a thousand population. So now we just need to effectively triple our population and we can win. <laughs> uh, see what bird statues do to your city? Yeah, it's gotta be the fat croc, right? Fat crocodile. Okay, okay. That feels like good progression for today. We've more than doubled our population. We've fleshed out this whole left side of the city. Looks good, looks good. Um, the pyramids are progressing along. I'm not paying too much attention to them. Uh, we've started producing some of our own resources just to compensate for the importing and stuff. Uh, Papyrus is still struggling. Though we are fully farming the reeds. So maybe we need to import reeds? Can we? Yeah, we can import reeds. I think that's what we need to do. Bring in some extra reeds, which I can just do this, right? If I set this accepting reads and set it to import as much as possible. Because these papyrus makers are all idle, so we're just short on reads. Uh, if an invasion comes from this right side, if they invade like from right here, we just screw. We can't do anything about it. Uh, if they continue to invade from up here, we might be able to deal with it, or if they just stay to the western side, that's great too. Oh, but the five palatial estates in a very cramped area. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised I managed to pull off uh, the five palatial estates in this small region. I would tax them, but it's not that important, I guess. You know, I guess I could tax them. We have some room. If I get rid of that, uh, I can go ahead and throw down a tax collector. What's that? That's enough. Yeah, we can tax the palatial estates so we'll get more than enough money. Ah, oh, somehow, somehow it worked. I'm very happy with that. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for part two of our NAFTA challenge. Long way to go, long way to go. Um, we'll, we'll try double our population next time and see if we can get the third monument. I haven't even placed down one of the monuments. Um, Fleshing out the, the right side. I think we just feed them with grain. I still have this farmland I haven't used and grain seems to be still kind of surplusing. Yeah, there's still grain being pushed around. So we should be able to just go all out on grain, one type of food, and see how far we can take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzack for direct support, which means more direct support we get, the fewer ads we run. Um, you can also support the channel through using a Humble Bundle referral link. There's a fire in the city. Of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, use the Humble Bundle referral link. There's a merch store. Um, you know, you can also become a Twitch subscriber or a YouTube member for all sorts of extra stuff. And if you do that stuff, join us on Discord. Discord.gg slash GamerZack. We've got special areas for supporters and the wonderful Zack Lights community, which is uh, active every day now. So thank you so much for, for hanging out on Discord. Follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, at GamerZack on all of those. I'm active on all of those. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. Until next time. I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.